There's one man whose artwork can be seen all over the Bemidji area, but soon it will be displayed statewide. Reporter Sherelle Moore tells us about artist John Simonis and his legacy in this week's In Focus. He just wanted to be known, noted, a noted artist. That was what his drive was. It was his goal to be a noted artist. Even if you don't know who John Simonis is, if you've been to the Bemidji area, you've probably seen his artwork. John first moved to the area with his family in 1976. He stayed in Bemidji until his death in 2013. People would stop by and he'd, he'd, he'd show them what he's working on. And uh, he'd talk about it and how many, sometimes even the details, the brush strokes. John's paintings have been featured in Bemidji bars, churches, and even the Bemidji airport. The places he's been to have been a big inspiration for many of his paintings. John also spent 23 years in the Air Force, which also served as inspiration for his work. This is one he dedicated to all the, uh, anyone who served in any of the armed forces, as you can see. And then, you know, of course, there's a seven-star metaphor he would always point out. Now, John's work has moved from Bemidji to places all over the world. This one was hanging in the nation's capital, the Cannon Rotunda. It was selected to hang by Arlen Stanglin, so it hung there for a month. Soon, the paintings left in Bemidji will be moving further down south. But those interested in the artwork can contact Raymond to ask for prints. We have his information online with this story. I'm in a transitional period, and it's also going to be moving down to Hastings in the metro area, but it's online. Reporting Bemidji with this week's In Focus, Shrum Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.